A dynasty versus a youth movement. That was the backdrop for the Class A Girls State Championship featuring Minot and Sentry. The Patriots rolling in with their 50 game win streak and seeking their fourth state title in five years. Logan Nisley, the two time Gatorade Player of the Year, was tenacious. Crashes the board, gets the putback. Patriots actually led 14 5 at one point. Then the Mad Jets start to fire back. Eighth grader Lily Bell hits the pull-up tray. The youngster had nine points and 15 boards in this one. Minot goes on a 13-2 run to take the lead. Then it's another Minot eighth grader, Maggie Fricky. Catch and shoot three. She's just getting started. 21-19 Magi. Here's a heck of a highlight. Nisley rebounds her own miss. Surrounded by defenders. So what does she do? Dribbles outside and hits from behind the pro three-point line. No surprise why she's bound for the Big Ten in Nebraska. Speaking of playing D1 hoops, I think Minot's eighth grade duo will be there someday too. Bell with the big time block, but Century cleans it up. Bergen Kinnebrew flips in two of her 21. Nate Wellstead's team up by two. Then it's Nisley poking the ball loose. Autumn Ketterling tracks it down and feeds Eden Fridley. The drive and the layup pushes the pass lead to four. With about a minute left in the first half, Bell draws the double team in the post, but somehow gets this difficult shot to fall. That cuts the century lead to just one at the break. Minot head coach Jason Schwarz enjoying every minute of this instant classic. He'll enjoy this too. Fricky steals it away, goes end to end for the finish, plus the foul. 27 for Fricky, who is unstoppable. 8 of 12 from the field and 9 of 11 from the charity stripe. But back comes Century. Nisley, proven why she led the state in three-point percentage at 47%, hits one of her four on the night, ends up with a game-high 32 points and 11 boards. Then Minot starts to make its move. Mariah Evenson with a sweet dish to Tori Hyde, who knocks down her second big three of the game. Minot up one. The student section is buzzing. Moments later, it's Aguilar threading the needle to Evenson, who gets the layup to drop plus the foul. You can see the emotion. She missed nearly all of last year with blood clots in her lungs. On Saturday, she scores 18 and helps Minot pull off a stunner. The Majettes win at 75-68 to clinch the program's first state title since 1978. It doesn't really matter your age, it's a team sport and just having players that are very talented, like every one of us is talented and we give every effort in the game which helps every single one of us win this game. It feels amazing like just having all these people supporting us and just getting to this big state game, it was really important for me. We knew if we uh, could finally put things together and put a full game together against these guys, we'd have a chance. And you know, we just wanted to be in the game at the end of the game to have a chance. We put ourselves in that position and hey, look what we did.